There's been a couple of times in my life where there's something that I loved to do or something that I was so enthralled with, but it became a little less exciting or a little less fun when I started to study it more. Now, let me tell you what I'm talking about. The first one was music. Now, I loved singing in high school and choirs and loved so much making music with other people. And then when I went to college, I became a music major and that was great. I learned so much and I learned very deeply about, about what I was studying, but sometimes it became more of a chore. I was supposed to practice daily. I, you know, and it really, this came with my mindset. So it's, I'm not saying that getting education and something is a bad thing, but it, it became almost like too much for me and it became less and less enjoyable. The other thing that where I felt, whether place I found this was with, um, just the study of God and my faith and theology. So I loved growing in my faith in college and then going to seminary, learning more in the classroom about theology, about God, about the church. It made it a little too academic for me in my head and made me a little too rigorous about it as well. Again, not saying that any of that is bad stuff, but when with the mindset that says, this is all a part of the work I have to do, it wasn't really helping me to grow in my faith. It wasn't really something that I was enjoying going to, to study or even sometimes it was hard to pray because I had too many thoughts going around in my head about what it was supposed to look like. Jesus says today in the gospel that he rejoices in the Holy Spirit because he says the Father has hidden these things from the wise and the learned but has revealed them to the childlike. The mysteries of the kingdom are revealed to those who are, who are small of spirit. Those who are, don't take themselves too seriously but are open to God and his ways. I think sometimes what can happen to us if, if we're learning a lot in our faith, if we're, we're excited about one way or another of praying, that becomes such a, a, a focal point for us and we almost make that our whole focus and we forget about the wonder of God and how he can appear to us in prayer, how he can talk, speak to our hearts in different ways. It's almost like I've learned too much and, I, and so that learning becomes the idol rather than actually keeping God at the center. I'm not saying that we shouldn't learn. In fact, I, that's not at all what I'm saying. But if you look at the, our tradition of the saints, even like the great intellectual saints like St. Thomas Aquinas at the end of his life, when God asks him, you have written well of me, Thomas, what would you have? And in so many words, he says, only you, Lord. And he would say that all that he's written is all straw. All of it is just is, is nothing compared to knowing God himself. So let's ask the Lord that we might know him in a childlike way. That even as we grow in our faith and even as we learn more about our faith, which we should do, that we can keep a childlike wonder about who God is because he will reveal himself to us in many different ways. He will continue to show the wonders of his love in your life. Just open your heart to him as a child.